Okay, murals, uh, they can really kind of make a downtown area have a little bit more personality or a residential area. And now Chandler, the city, is commissioning some murals in a big project. So Tom's live with more on this. Tom, where are you? What are we looking at? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right downtown, right near the Santan Brewery. In fact, if we look over here, this, this mural, Troy, they put this up in 2017, and it still is beautiful and colorful, even though it gets the west side sun. That's at the uh, that, that's right there, right up against the Santan Brewery. So they had that done a little while ago. But also, I want you to take a look at this. You see how there's a canal running through here? And I remember when this was just a, a ditch you could jump over, but the SRP's got a canal going through here, and that's actually part of what this art is all about. And I want to introduce you to the artist, Ariana and because Ariana, so nice to meet you. Wonderful to meet you. Yeah, so she's an ASU kid, so that's kind of cool, but she's also a Chandler High School grad, which is great. Now, I see that you have blue throughout this mural, Ariana. Tell me about uh, how you tied water into this. Of course. So my mural is inspired by the idea of water as a vital and necessary element in our desert that allows a lot of Arizona native species to thrive. Uh -huh. I also wanted to uh, celebrate, highlight, and emphasize the canal right next to it. Yeah, it's very cool. Now, this is a huge, huge mural as we walk along here. Uh, it was sponsored by Santan Brewery and the San Marcos Resort and the Downtown Chandler Community Partnership, the city of Chandler. But there were 14 people that bid on it. You got it, which yes, is exciting. Very. How long is this? Well, how big of a space is this? So this side of the wall is about 175 feet. And then as you turn the corner, it's an additional 50. Now, I love this. Take a look at this real quick, Bri. We have hummingbirds here. Now, when you and I are just standing around shooting the breeze for the past half hour. There are a ton of hummingbirds around here. There this is are. great. And yes. you're a hummingbird fan just like me. Absolutely. I love hummingbirds. I included them in my design because I feel that they evoke the energy and the motion of the city of Chandler. Now, I love this big green flower. You you built, you put some flowers into this that are that you love as well. Yes. I included succulents, barrel cacti, and prickly pear that store water, of course, to survive. And then I also included the king protea flower, which although is not native to Arizona, it's one of my favorites to paint. It's a symbol of courage and diversity and it grows in full sun so I feel like it um, it's a, a symbol of the city's vibrancy and how it is transforming and changing and growing here in the city of Chandler. I would have no idea how to attack this Ariana. Tell everybody how you started it. It's such a big long project. How sure. do you go about it? So everything that you see, the blue and the sort of sunset gradient is all done with spray paint. And so now I'm going in and hand painting the rest of the details. Yeah, and you're using an acrylic paint. You're a they're a little concerned about obviously the sun here in Arizona, aren't of they? Of course, yes. Because it's an exterior mural, the, the paint has to be pretty good quality. And so I'm actually using Nova Color um, paints for that. So it, it lasts long and it stays out here and, and bears the weather. How long have you been working on this so far? About 11 days. 11 yes. days. Now, did I see a bumblebee over there? You did. <laughs> I love bumblebees, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a bunch of those fly around here as well. Yeah, and Everywhere. I just love the whole concept as it's so colorful and so beautiful. As people enter downtown Chandler, they'll be able to see this. When do you hope to have it done? Hopefully within the next two to three weeks. Oh, uh, very good. Yes. <laughs> Ariana Enriquez, a proud graduate of Chandler High School and ASU. And I'm so glad she got the bid to do this, but isn't it absolutely beautiful, you guys? I mean, imagine that even at night when this thing's all lit up, you can just walk on down the line. It's so colorful. Ariana, you're awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Great job. Looking forward to coming back when What's it's all finished. What's that say, finished. Tom? Down, does that say downtown Chandler? Is that what it said? Oh, yeah. Downtown Chandler, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So as you come through downtown Chandler, you'll see this. And you know what? I'll tell you, Troy, with this canal right here and this walkway all, uh, all uh, with all this color on there, it's so inviting. And like I said, there are so many hummingbirds around here. She did a great job. I think so, too. It is, it is absolutely beautiful. And she was just a delight to talk to you. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, look at all the hummingbirds right there. Look at that. Yeah. Should we all just take a second know, to watch the hummingbirds? The <laughs> we always have time for hummingbirds on our show. Are you kidding me? Dogs and hummingbirds, we got plenty of time. You can kind of see their wings with the camera. When I see them in person, you never see their wings. That was kind of neat. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for bringing that to yeah. us. That was, that, was a yeah. good, that was fun. Yeah, I'm a big fan of public art. Yeah, me too. It definitely it gives some character. And plus, downtown Chandler is hopping. It, well, it used to be and it will be again hopping at some point.